What is so special about women who are in their 40s and still single? One thing I have mentioned a couple of times in some of my previous videos, that is, women is very interesting in the sense that our uterus is meant for childbirth. The very sole reason why women have uteruses is just to reproduce. The very main reason why women have ovaries is to reproduce. So when you do not reproduce, that means you're single and you do not bear children, somehow there are more problems. We know by uh, research and statistics that women who are single are more likely to have uterus cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine fibroid, endometriosis, polyp, you name it. That's why previously I used to say women if you don't grow a baby in you, your uterus will grow something else. So if you're single, definitely your risk is even higher if you've never had a single child all your life. Because all your life, your uterus have not even grown a single baby. So your chance of having, growing something else in your uterus is higher than the general population of women. So what are the things that you need to take care? Number one, you need to visit your gynae regularly. You see, the thing is, a lot of married women with children, they tend to, you know, know that oh, after I give birth every year, I must go and see my gynae, I must do my pap smear, you know, they have these uh, regular practices. But for women who are single, without children, they don't usually go and see a gynae. And that is why we are very worried, because they don't come and see us, but they are at the highest risk of all kinds of problems. So first thing, you need to see a gynae even if you are single. Some of you will think that, I'm single, I've not had sex before, I can't do pap smear. I heard that pap smear is only for women who have had sex before. Oh, I'm so scared, I don't want to go and see a gynae. But that's not true. Because when you come and see a gynae, and if you say that you are uh, single, never had sex all your life, we are not going to force a uh, pap smear on you, no. But we will do the rest of the tests that you need to do. Because we all know you are at risk of breast cancer, uterus cancer, ovarian cancer. So we will still examine you to make sure you have no of none of all these problems, which means that we examine your breast, we do a mammogram for you, we do breast ultrasound for you, we scan your uterus, your ovary, to make sure everything is normal. Uh, what do you need to look up? Okay, women problem, quite straightforward, is always two problems only. Two, uterus only have two symptoms that you need to watch out for. One is the bleeding another is the pain. So if your menses is normal, if your menses is normal once a month, the flow is normal, everything is still normal, maybe you're still okay, not to worry too much. But if you have heavy menstrual bleeding, prolonged menstrual bleeding, or intermenstrual, heavy menstrual bleeding, that means you notice your blood flow is heavy. When you see your blood flow heavy, one month, two months, you better go and see gynae. Don't wait 6 months, 12 months here. That is what I usually see. You see, the thing about women when they're in their 40s, whenever they have this heavy menstrual bleeding or prolonged menstrual bleeding or ab any abnormal menstrual bleeding, they always like to blame it on, huh, maybe I'm going to menopause already. I heard that before menopause, the bleeding becomes abnormal. Then they don't come and see gynae until they think something is not quite right, which is kind of dangerous. Because you must understand, if you're single or you have not had any children for a long, long time already. Your risk of growing things in your uterus is very high. So you don't wait. If you have abnormal menses for one month or two months, the most two months, you must, 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 must go and see a gynae. Let the gynae check you first. If the gynae says, uh, I think everything is fine with you, you're most likely going to menopause, that's fine. The gynae say you're going to menopause, that's why you're having the abnormal bleeding. Not the other way around. You don't like, um, I think, you know, I'm going to menopause, that's why I'm like that. Oh no, you don't presume that way, yeah? You don't presume. Unless the gynae tell you that, I think you're going to menopause. Everything I check is normal, and then you're normal. If not, it may not be normal. Heavy menstrual bleeding. Heavy means you can see the flow is heavier than before, which is very, very abnormal for women in their 40s because we say that when you reach your 40s, your hormone actually get less and less, less and less strong. So what actually happens is you're supposed to get less and less menses not more and more menses. So when you have heavier and heavier menses, you have to worry about something wrong with your uterus. You have to. So that's the first thing. Number two, prolonged menstrual bleeding. That means normally your menses is five days, seven days, or now it's nine days, 10 days, 14 days. Oh, you must go and see a gynae. Or third, intermenstrual bleeding. You already had your menses just over, not long. And eh, why you bleed again? Something is not right. Why you bleed again? This is intermenstrual bleeding. And when you have that, you must go and see your gynae. So any form of abnormal menstrual bleeding. There's one more where your menses came, but so little, like never come out at all. It's so little. That is also abnormal menstrual bleeding. 
Abnormal menstrual bleeding can be due to fibroids, adenomyosis, endometrial polyp, uterus cancer. Okay, the second symptom that you watch out for is pain. If you have followed my videos enough, you will know that I always say there's no such thing as menstrual pain. If you have menstrual pain in your 40s, every month you have to take MC, every month you don't take MC but you need to pop painkiller, every month you have menstrual pain, maybe not too bad after work, you must rest, you must take a nap. That's not normal, yeah. Women in their 40s do not have menstrual pain. If you have menstrual pain, we need to think about endometriosis, fibroids, we need to think about problems like ovarian cysts. And other than menstrual pain, what if you get pain at funny funny time? You get your pain before your menses every month. You get your pain after your menses every month. You get your pain during the ovulation period every month. All these are not normal. There are signs or possibility of endometriosis. So you need to see your gynae. So these are the two symptoms that you need to watch out. Two main things that you need to watch out if you're in your 40s. Because as I say, if you're in your 40s and you're still single, your chances of having any of the gynae problem is much higher than everyone else.